it's Rick and Lisa. Good to see you once again. And Nick. Everybody likes to see Whoa. Nick. Let's see Nick. Oh, he just jumped down the floor. He'll he be does back. not want to be seen. So there was a Harris poll and um, it, about age-appropriate things and mm -hmm. kids growing up. And parents basically say kids are growing up too fast. They right. want them to stay little, but kids mm -hmm. are like, no, I want to grow up fast. So, um, And then they came up with... What age should kids do or have certain things? And this is part one. We'll, we'll, we'll have a two-parter here. At what age should kids get an allowance? Hmm. Now, before I answer that, I think, what, what's that allowance uh, intended for? Are they going to try to make some meet some expenses using that? Or is it just like a little bit of, shall we call mad money if they see? Probably the... mad money. I mean, some people might give but, their know, kids a budget and they pay for their stuff. Phone, when we were kids, you know, having like a dollar was mad money in the pocket. So, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. You, you give kids too much money, they're going to blow it in the wrong way. Ten. That's what they say. Ten. Ten will work. Although, you know, some people with the allowance, it's like, hey, you live here. We all chip in. You don't get paid to chip in, but then you can teach your kid budgeting if you yeah, have Yeah, and that's the big thing. So I see where schools are just starting to do that. Uh, when should a kid be allowed to stay home alone? Uh, Forty-seven. How old were you when you were alone? That's a good question because it, it begins to blur yeah. because you might, you, you know, it, it, you're not going to leave your kid uh, home in the evening for like five hours the first time. I used to get so scared when I was home alone. I would lock myself in the bathroom until somebody came home. I was only four. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was probably like 12. You know, with, with Jonathan, though, when we moved to our new house, uh, he was in fifth grade. And, you know, we went to work real early in the morning, so we had to have somebody right. watch him. But during the course of the next year or two, uh, little by little, he was kind of doing his own thing. As a matter of fact, he was, the one funny story, I remember uh, coming home from work one day and the front door is hanging open because Jonathan left it hanging on his way to the, the bus. Twelve and a half, that's what most people say, twelve okay. and a half years old. Okay, and finally on this segment, we'll yeah. have part two of this. When should parents have the sex talk with the kids? Hmm. Don't schools do that for you? <laughs> no. Well, yeah, everyone gets upset. That. I'm just kidding. But yeah, well, actually, they did do that because I remember Jonathan um, telling me that they did that, but we were always pretty open. I remember that. my my uh, health teacher. I, that that back in the day, I don't know if they still do that. The health teachers are the ones that did the yeah. the sex ed. And I remember he was he was an old old gym teacher, I, he, and he was too old to teach gym, so they made him a health teacher. He said, "Well, uh, and I think we actually separated boys and girls yeah. too. So, we well, boys, to today we're going to talk about sex. <laughs> yeah. We just wanted to see the pictures. Let's look at the pictures. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yeah. Where, where did you go to school? Twelve. Twelve is when you're supposed to have the talk, but again, it depends on the the kid. We'll um, we'll get to the other ones, including cell phone, coming up. Next. I know you can't hardly wait for that same bat time, same bat channel.